Hey guys and welcome back to the 411 on Tech. Today we're reviewing this little guy here, the Amazon Smart Air Quality Monitor. This device monitors and alerts you to pollutants and dangerous gases inside your home. And to better understand your indoor air quality, it measures five different factors that affects it and provides you with your indoor air quality score. So something like this can give you peace of mind or let you know if there's a reason for concern. It comes in at $69.99, which you might think is a lot for this small device. But compared to the competition, it's a pretty good price. So if you want to know if this device is worth the buy, stay tuned because we're going to get into it right after this. Alright, so let's first talk about design. So this is very small and minimalistic, so it can pretty much go anywhere in your home and fit right in. Nice square design. It has this nice white matte plastic, which is a nice touch. And so it has this air vent in the front. Now this is what's gonna circulate the air to determine your air quality reading. And there's also a little LED indicator at the front as well, and that's your quality indicator. So if it's green, that means everything is good to go. Yellow, moderate, red, poor, you better do something now. Yeah, and on the back there's an action button. They can do a certain kind of button presses, you know, so you can do things like a factory reset or turn it off. Now, as Michelle mentioned, it's uh, pretty small and minimalistic. It's 1.8 by 2.6 inches. Uh, there's a USB uh, power adapter. Uh, it would have been nice if this was battery operated, um, you know, so it could be even more portable, but it's not. So now we're going to get into some of the features. Now, as Damian mentioned at the beginning of the video, this measures five different data points to get you that air quality score. Uh, two of them, temperature, humidity, they're pretty self-explanatory. Another one is particulate matter. Now, these are allergens and irritants that can be inhaled, a mixture of like dust particles, dirt, and liquid droplets that are in the air. It measures up to 2.5 microns, so that's stuff like combustion particles, metals, organic compounds. It doesn't go up to PM10 or 10 microns, which is your dust, molds, and pollen. Uh, we kind of wished it did that just because we're always suffering from like pollen and you wonder if you have mold in the house. So it would be nice if it did that. Um, but it does do the, the up to 2.5, which is the real harmful type particles. So. Um, and it also does volatile organic compounds. Now these are chemicals that can affect your breathing, things from like scented candles to paints to cleaning supplies. So if you have that stuff in your house and you're concerned if it's affecting your health at all, this thing will help you detect and alert if there is an issue. It also does carbon monoxide, so it's gonna detect your CO levels. But now what Amazon does say is this does not replace your carbon monoxide alarm. It isn't certified as a CO alarm or a detector. Part of that might be it doesn't have a built-in alarm from the base itself. It's gonna alert you, as Damien will talk about later, and other means. So that might be part of it. But those are the five data points. So those five data points Michelle talks about, all that information gets uh, reported back to the app, and then you get notified via your phone or Alexa if it detects any unusual levels. You get, you know, like a notification or, you know, one of your Amazon Echo connected devices will, will say something. Um, you can do, uh, you can set up routines, but it can't control anything, say like an air purifier or your HVAC. Um, right now, like you can uh, set it to do like a temperature triggered routine. So, you know, the temperature goes lower than a certain point. You can like turn the heat on, for instance, or do something like that. And you can also have, uh, there's voice controls, so you can ask, uh, you know, the Amazon assistant or the fire tv to display charts of your your air quality uh, indicators and it'll display you know on the fire tv or on your your echo show or something like that now it this only detects as michelle mentioned doesn't like purify the air so it only detects and sends you alerts so you know it would have been nice if this also does like purify but you know it, it doesn't but for the price point it does do the detection to alert you about certain air quality metrics. Yeah, and I just wanted to mention for the, the routines, Amazon does plan to add more routines down the road. So, you know, if particulate matters or something like that. And maybe they can even add like where it can trigger, you know, if you have a smart air purifier or something like that. So hopefully that'll come down the road. I will have to see. Yeah, that'll be nice. 
All right, so let's talk about setup. First, you wanna place this monitor in an area of your home that has good airflow and ensure that the intake vent will not be blocked. Plug it into the wall and you should see the LED blink blue, which means it's ready to be set up. Next, you do need the Amazon Alexa app, so if you don't already have that, make sure you install it. Then go ahead and open the app and you should get a pop-up about the device and it, that it's ready to be set up. If not, just hit the add device and walk through the setup that way. Then the app will ask you to scan the QR code on the bottom of the device or on the box and the device will then connect. You can then decide if you want to assign it to a particular room or group. It does take about seven minutes to calibrate and then it will give you that indoor air quality score that we mentioned. I also want to mention that it takes a few days to acclimate to your environment to get that most accurate reading. Okay, so in the app, um, you're going to, right away, you're going to get your indoor air quality score, and that's going to be at the top, you have uh, your indoor air quality score, temperature, humidity, particulate matter, carbon dioxide, and volatile organic compounds. So you can click in each one of those sections and you get information about each of those. Uh, the dashboard will show you a graph of your hourly, daily, and weekly IAQ score or you know the humidity or your particulate matter, carbon dioxide, or the volatile organic compounds. And you can also, um, it gives you the measurement of each of those and um, if you, when you drill down into it you can get uh, information that will tell you about you know the recommended range for those levels to be in, uh, tips to reducing things, for instance, like particulate matter. It'll give you a description of what particulate matter is, what some of the sources might be, and what the health effects are when those levels are not uh, where you want them to be. And you can also get displayed on your Amazon Echo device or your Fire TV. You can get, uh, you know, like a display of all your levels. Uh, display right there so you can get a quick and dirty uh, you know glimpse of where you are as far as your indoor air quality. Alright so now on to final thoughts for $69.99 70 bucks it's not bad um, and, and compared to the competition it is fairly cheap a lot of the other um, brands they're usually in like over the $100 range so the price is good I do wish that it was battery operated Amazon recommends that you have one for each room that you're concerned about. So $70 a pop, that gets pricey. If you could, if it was battery operated, you could just move it around to whatever room you want to have it in and detect that air quality score. Uh, so it would be nice if it did that. Also the app, so it, you have to use the Amazon Alexa app. And unless you add it as a favorite, you have to have, you know, drill down. And if you have a number of devices, Alexa devices like we do, you have to find the air quality monitor through all those devices just to get to the dashboard. So it's not bad, I mean it does give you peace of mind, you know, if you're, you're worried about you have some chemicals in the house, if that's causing you harm. We kind of got it too because we have um, a pellet stove and that's supposed to be safe but we just kind of wanted to get it as like a test to see, you know, right. if that was an well, issue or, you know, other things as well. So we kind of have it set up in our kitchen, and like I said, it's not bad. Yeah, well for 70 bucks like Michelle said, I wish it that it also did the carbon di dioxide and radon. Um, I also wish it was certified, you know, it would be like an alarm for those things, but it's not. Now uh, it does uh, do a pretty good job of calculating your indoor air quality score, and the app does a good job of explaining what each one of those metrics is and how you can improve those. And you do get alerts on your phone, but like I, I do wish it would like ring an alarm or, or like on your phone or mm -hmm. if it had a speaker itself in there, that would be nice. And I also wish that it would like interact with a more smart device. Now uh, Amazon does say that's coming, so it would be nice if you had like a smart air purifier that it would like say, hey, you know, the air quality is getting bad, like start cleaning this up. Um, and like Michelle mentioned, you know, Amazon is recommending you have one of these for, you know, each room. So once you start getting into that, you're going to be well over $300 mark and it might be better just to get one of the smart uh, air purifiers that also does the monitor that covers a certain uh, square footage. Uh, so so uh, I would say, you know, it would be nice if you just want to get quick and dirty, maybe just get one of these in like an area that you think is the, the air quality might not be good for certain factors. You know, you might be cooking with a gas stove or something you just want to monitor or you're, 
doing some work uh, with like paint or something like that where the fumes might be bad you just want to keep an eye on the air quality so be good for that um, so those are our thoughts on this um, you know it does a good job of monitoring but doesn't purify uh, so and it is like more affordable than the other options but that's going to do it for this one guys we guys hope you like this content please do remember to subscribe comment and like this video it helps the channel grow so we can keep bringing you content like this and we'll see you guys in the next one bye, bye.